Hello, my friend, and welcome back to another ladder cast. We're going to be checking out Stork here in the top left-hand corner. His opponent, Saxory, down in the bottom right-hand corner. This game was sent to me by Dude Nerd, who had some nice things to say about this game. So I hope we're going to have an awesome one on Retro. Uh, I am currently streaming this live on YouTube and Twitch. We just got affiliate status, guys. So, shout out to everybody who stopped by and followed. Really appreciate all of you guys. And we're gonna con gonna continue with the live streaming here for quite some time. We're gonna stick with it, same schedule, and uh, see what we can do with this uh, this platform, both Twitch and YouTube. But uh, getting into this game, we've got the Overpool here from Saxory. Forge first from Stork. And Stork, the Dinosaur Toss. He has uh, been growing in power recently. I feel like he was starting to really fall off in the past couple of seasons. But I've seen that he's been... Practicing quite a lot. He's been sniping pro players on the ladder as well. Been getting on at the same time as them. If you don't know what sniping is, get on at the same time as them. Check their stream and wait for them to queue up. And then right as they queue up, hit the, uh, the queue button and try to get a game with them. And uh, it's a little different than like some, some people will stream snipe you. And then keep your screen on, like, your stream on another monitor. I don't think that's what uh, Stork is doing. He's just trying to get games with these guys. So that he can practice, get his skills up, and, uh, you know, get some good content for his stream. Which is always a good time. Now, we're going to get up here with the first ling and actually spot. We didn't send out a drone here as Saxory, so we didn't get to see... Whether or not this was a gateway first, but it appears that with the timings here, Saxory has been able to suss this out. He knows that there's probably a forge and he didn't have to build any additional links. So it's always nice as a Zerg player when you can just build two links, just a one set of links against a forge first. It feels very, very nice. And he's going to put the layer here in the natural because the probe is here in the main. Checking for that. He wants to hide it for now. Eventually, Stork will go down the ramp and see that. But for now, he doesn't know if there was, for for example, speed started before the lair. Or, you know, maybe there's an intention to throw down a Hydro Stent here. He's been mining gas for long enough now, though, that Stork has to be a little bit suspicious here. So he comes down to the natural. He sees the lair. He knows that everything... Is a okay? Stargate here on the way. It is possible to cancel the layer and drop a Hydralis Den, but at this point in the game, this time in the game, the Corsair will get over there before the Hydras can even get out. So Stork's gonna be fine here. Nice control from Saxory, actually almost catching this first probe. Oh, he will catch it. What was that? Stork finding a little parking spot here. Parks the probe and uh, ends up losing it. First Zealot is going to make its way over to the third base, though, and gets two hits on all of these drones. Lings are going to be brought forward now to deal with this, but of course, parking in a most inconvenient location. Really good move here by Saxory. Oh, nice target there. But still, only going to kill one Ling with that. It's very hard to get two Lings on either side. I do a bit of practice. Uh, I have a practice mode. The UMS map where I try to, to make this happen. But it is very hard. It takes a little bit of luck as well to get both Lings to stand side by side. On either side. And all four of them to hit at the same time. It's very often that the Lings kind of stand in the middle. And block the other Ling from getting forward. So... Saxory doing a good job of clearing that. Didn't lose any drones thus far. He will lose one Overlord, of course. 
but this is just par for the course. He'll probably end up losing this one as well. But the Spire is about done. We've got Hatchery coming up here. And it's probably going to be a 6 Hatch Hydra play, if I had to guess. We've only just now got the second gas. And we're really focusing on getting our drone count up here. We have a couple of overloads on the way, as well as a couple of pairs of Scourge. And there they are. Trying not to get supply blocked here and making sure that he has Scourge to defend these overlords. This overlord actually has not been found just yet. And he's going to get in here and see the Scourge popping. We'll have to retreat. Stork. Getting just one overlord here for the early game and two gateway in the natural. This can be a bit of a surprise play. Like, we haven't seen this yet from Saxory. He's going to keep pumping out Zealots non-stop here. And we're going to hit with a fairly interesting little Zealot timing with the plus one right as it finishes and the leg augments right as they finish. Look at this. He's moving out. I don't think Saxory has any idea about this, but look at this. Scourge. Oh, is he going to move over here? No, he's going to patrol in front. And now he thinks he knows that there's no Zealots on the map, but these Zealots have just barely slipped by. And they're going to come into view here at the last possible second. We do have a sunken colony on the way. Do we have any Mutas coming up here? I don't see any. Just Lings. See, he's keeping Lings over here. But nothing is here to defend. This is going to be disastrous for Saxory right now. Going to block with the drone. So actually slowing it down by a, a little bit here. But this is unfortunate, man. Okay, we do have some Mutas out on the field. He is going to be able to bring them back to bear. Uh, losing a few more drones here. He should have kept those pulled away for a little bit longer. There's really not too much damage that the Zealots can do aside from killing a few drones here. So pulling the drones away and then bringing them back a little bit later is definitely a, a better option. But, you know, in the end, he didn't lose too much. He lost a few drones and he ended up killing a lot of zealots. But I think he's going to be okay here. Only taking one Corsair shot or one uh, hit on that Corsair. Keeping most of them alive. With six Corsairs, you can do a lot of damage, especially with that plus one. The uh, Mutas are not going to be able to fight this. We do not have enough Scourge either. He's going to lose a lot of Overlords here. Do we have a DT on the field? No. No DT here and a lot of Corsairs pop out. So this is going to be defended here from Saxory. Well played by him. Got to bring all the uh, Scourge together. Get one connection. There we go. He gets at least one. But still, not a good situation here for Saxory. Oh man, all the Scourge just dying there. Really nice egg block. Keeping the Zealots off of this sunken colony, but going to go to work on some drones here. Getting a couple of those kills. Probably going to get one or two more. There's one more. And he does have to back off. Now supply blocked here. Saxory having a bit of a rough time. But he has managed to drone up pretty significantly up to, uh, you know, 39 drones here. He's building full on Muta. Oh, diving on the natural. He will get two... Templar here. Unfortunately, the Archon not able to squeeze through this little hole and defend against these Mutas and making some very good use of these Mutas that really don't have much value now that the Corsair number is so high. Looks like the Corsair is not going to catch that, unfortunately. Making sure that he's got Lings everywhere. Very nice by Saxory. Preventing the base from going up really easily and killing that probe. Now he could maybe get up here now that he's actually killed the uh, probe, we can't build cannons here for a little bit. Maybe he could come up with some Hydra. We killed the two Templar. There's no Templar for Storm. If we could really get our Hydras moving here and get up on this high ground before the, the cannons are done, we could per possibly prevent this base from going down. Now, of course, once the Hydras have all been revealed, the Corsairs should go across the map and just start annihilating Overlords, but... I think we can sustain that if we uh, if we end up killing the third base. That would be a worthwhile trade, I think. Coming forward here. Pretty good micro from Saxory, but this is a few too many Zealots. It looks like uh, Stork, with his macro, just barely able to hold on here. We'll get these cannons up and operational. And that is a big moment. The Mutas are going to come through. Look for some kills on maybe a probe or two. The Corsairs, unfortunately, staying ho uh, back at home. I think it would be much better to send these across the map. It's the moment that you see, you know, 
Hydra's massing and attacking your third base, just send the Corsairs straight to your opponent's base because they can't have that many Hydras at you know attacking you and defending back at home at the same time. So he is going to start to send over uh, to this third base now. Look at how scant the defenses are. He could have gotten so many kills before. He is going to get a few kills now. And he did manage to get his third base online. So things are going well here for Stork. He's even going to maybe catch this uh, drone that's headed up to the top right to try and take a base. Lurkers are now done. I think we're going to set up a little lurker contain here. Or maybe we'll set it up in this area. Maybe this area. I don't know. I think this, this is not too bad. We do need to start building sunken colonies out here though. We have to extend this creep. Hive should be on the way here soon. We do have that queen's nest. Hive is started. Trying to bust up this ramp. The cannons aren't quite close enough to the ramp to prevent this. And that's funny. The lurkers can actually hit stuff going up this ramp here. That is kind of funny. Oh man, taking a lot of damage from this. Oh, and the one Muta, single Muta, going to come in here. Maybe get a kill on a high Templar before he dies. Hero Muta there. Lurker's going to come out here. Will be jumped upon by these Zealots now. But quite a lot of damage goes down onto these, uh, these Zealots. And now the uh, Lurkers are here, kind of preventing the reinforcement train. Storms from the low ground, though, going to push everything back. Saxory, he had a good idea getting the Lurkers in here. And then trying to bust this base. But that's a few too many cannon. That's a big commitment to those cannons. Oh, flying over with the Corsair. Losing quite a few of those. That's unfortunate. And a base will come down here at 6 o'clock. Not a bad location to choose either. There's so many bases on this map that can be easily taken and held by either Lurker, Hydra, uh, Spore, or Cannon, Templar. That's a lot of overlords to bring over here to the uh, fourth base. Some of them are going to end up going down, I think. Six, dropping down to just six uh, Corsairs. We're getting pretty close to, uh, you know, all these Corsairs going down. And then overlords can be spread once again. Oh, oh. But as I say that, they get a whole bunch more kills. Just five, or just five left remaining. So if uh, he can ever pick all those off, then he can start to spread the overlords everywhere. But until then, until these die, air control does go to Stork. Plus one attack for the Lings. Here's the Spore. So he's starting to spread the creep. He wants to get creep out to this, this little edge right here. Once you can start putting Sunkins along this, this becomes a very, very turtled position. This is, of course... Extremely turtle. We might even want some sunkins up here as well. Maybe a couple more lurkers. The army is getting pretty big right now. Pretty large for Stork. So we do need to uh, take this defense very seriously. Another sunken going to come in. I think we need sunkins a little bit closer here. And a better spread of lurker. More lurkers going to be morphed. Some lings are going to come out to kind of buffer. Buffering for these uh, lurkers here. Feeling a little damage to some of these Dragoons as well. The Lurkers can finish them off. Spreading out some more. He's going to go for the kill on this uh, Observer here. Not able to get that, but a little force out in the middle of the map actually killing some Dragoons. That's a little bit of a mistake from Stork. Allowing some of his Dragoons to kind of sit out there and, and get taken down. Oh my god, and the Lurker's going to come forward now. Oh, Stork. Really messed up this attack, man. Letting all of his army run forward like that. And the Lurkers burrow on top of everything and just destroy it. He is taking a fourth base during all this. He does have a backup plan, but... I think that Saxory has defended this actually perfect. And he's going to even kill some of these observers. The Zealots just getting massacred on top of these Lurkers. Of course, a few did go down, but... The army just disintegrating here. Trying to get up this ramp. Not going to be allowed. Lurkers on this high ground. We're going to have a spore there as well. Coming through with the Corsairs. This is kind of the ra last ride of the Corsairs here, I think. Going to try to get as many Overlord kills as possible before going down. And the last of them are going to fall here. Some Lynx making a counterattack attempt. 
But now we can actually spread overlords. This is good news for Saxory. Now that all the Corsairs are gone, we can actually start to spread these overlords. We're going to have Defiler here pretty soon. Still have a drone up in the top right. It's a little bit funny. But the control of the other quadrants of the map has not been established yet. We're not sure who's going to end up taking these areas. Looks like the drone looking to take that base, but quickly changing his mind. Let's take a look at the upgrades. We just finished plus one, plus one here. Looks like plus two is going to be done pretty soon on that armor. And plus one attack. Plus two is on the way. Plus two armor is done here. It's time to start getting actually some plasma shield upgrades potentially. With this fourth base online and that much gas, you can definitely afford to do so. And it's going to help out with the Archons that are going to have to be made later. And with Plague, the armor upgrades just aren't going to be worth it. It's no not, not really worth it to get the third armor upgrade. I think most pros can agree with that. Most pros seem to be kind of avoiding that upgrade in favor of the plasma shield and we're gonna have an attempt a base attempt here in the top right couple of lurkers on that high ground with some links this army could definitely break that but i think the priority here for stork will be to take this bottom left for himself if he splits the map in half there's a good chance he can take this game uh there's not a huge amount of bases on this map so uh it's very quick very easy to you know run your opponent out of um minerals and trying to run up this ramp losing the observer to the spore stork not looking that strong i gotta say just running straight into the spore with the single observer that he has that is not good play from a protoss player you, you cannot be doing that you can't be losing observers like that the observer is the weakest part of the army the most vulnerable and what is this <laughs> overlord Filled with two lurkers is going to try and make its way over towards this base, maybe? The main doesn't have anything in it anymore. Looks like we did have a link counterattack down to the bottom left, and Stork going to go up towards the top right. He is in danger of getting surrounded by this army, though. I think that's what we might end up seeing, Stork. Pushing up towards the top, to, towards the, uh, top right, and then losing all his units to a huge surround. Storms are going to come down. Some good kills here. Trying to push into this base. That's not going to happen. That is definitely not going to happen, Stork. You cannot push that base. Pretty good kills over here at the fourth, but we still have 51 probes for Stork, so still a reasonable amount. Going to start to throw down plagues on this. He really could get up this ramp. This is not a hard ramp to break, but uh, I, I think this is this is impossible. You actually need to get up here before the Nidus finishes. Uh, if you're Stork, you actually want to take this game. You have to get up here before the Nidus finishes. And he had a good opportunity to, get, to do that, but the Nidus is like 90% done now. Maybe 80% done, so he's going to come up this ramp. He's going to break this. See, look at how little stuff was up, actually up here. Now a bunch of Lurkers are going to pop through, but... The high ground advantage is no longer there. Can he actually get this other observer? If he picks that off, uh, he will get that observer. There's only a couple of lurkers here. Good storms killing off most of those. Zealots are actually going to be able to push through here. He needs to kill this Nidus. Super bad and hold the top of this ramp. Holding the top of this ramp is very important because he do not want to allow this army to get trapped up here. Oh god, so much is popping through this Nidus now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, man, there's just way too much. Oh, that's just so much stuff coming out. And yeah, yeah, we're going to lose this army. This is exactly as predicted. Saxory going to bring the, the might of his army up here and completely surround all of Stork's forces. Stork, he's still on four bases, but losing this army is catastrophic here. He hasn't managed to secure bottom left. Like he's going in so many different directions at the same time and it's just not working out for him he came down here with his army to try and take this base or to try and take this base he should have either stayed here and with his whole army and made sure that this base came up or come up here and killed this base but he went down here kind of sent a probe and then lost the probe to the to the uh lings and then he tried to send his army up to the top right and failed at both both uh 
things that he was trying to do. He was trying to get a base and he was trying to kill a base and he didn't, I, he failed to do either one. Now coming up here with the Dark Swarm, really well done by Saxory. Really nice plague there. Oh my God, such a plague. And he is gonna get this Nexus. Perfect play from him. Just mounting this high ground, immediately going after the Nexus. You don't even need to kill the, the, the cannons at all. You just drop the Dark Swarm right on top of the Nexus and then just surround it with the Lings. Instant kill there. That's gonna limit Stork's income so much. He's down to one base mining, guys, and a little bit of long distance. He's gonna try to break this base, and there's actually not too many Lurkers over here. Unfortunately, uh, Saxory did not send these up onto the high ground, so we could use a Storm here to actually annihilate these units as they come up. That's actually gonna be a great trade for Stork, but I don't think he has the muscle to break through this. He doesn't have the Archon number. He doesn't have the Zealot number. And there's just too many reinforcements coming up. Really nice storm there. If he breaks this base and kills all of these hatcheries, it becomes a game once again. But as it stands, Saxory is just light years ahead here. He's going to be able to hold this off. He has the rallies coming through. Really great uh, macro overall from him. He's been keeping his money low this whole time. And he's actually ahead in supply at this point. Army coming from behind here in a surround. Now he's left the high ground a little bit vulnerable, but assuming he actually kills this army, that's really not going to matter. And the majority of the army is going to go down with the Dark Swarm really helping out here. The Archon will end up falling, and then the uh, Dragoons just have nowhere to run to. So everything is going to die. That's funny, the Defiler there <laughs> tucked behind the Mineral Patch. We actually do need to kill that. It will eventually get 100 energy or 150 and throw down a plague. He is starting to mine once again on this base, but this is only a temporary solution, having a tiny bit of extra income for a little bit here. Ling's unmasked, pushing forward. We did end up getting that plasma shield upgrade. Does help out against the Ling's with the Archon, but we're doing our best to deny this next base here. This is just, again, a band-aid solution. We need another base here as Protoss. Looks like he's going to try and take this one. I would have preferred the one on high ground. Just put a pile on there and build five cannon. It's almost unbreakable. You need a defiler to kill that. Army going to make its way up here. Stork not defending. Really unfortunate to see. He really, he, he should have, he really should have a, uh, a little small army over there. Maybe some, even some DT or just like a few zealots or something. He's got a DT up here and a couple of Templar, but he just hasn't sent them over. And look at that. The Defiler had 100 energy. It casts a Dark Swarm. He makes some use out of it and actually might get this Nexus once again. Okay, we've got enough Zealot, I guess. Enough Zealot and enough um, Archon here to hold this off. Ling going to go to work on these probes. You really do need to stop this from happening. This is a three armor, two attack Ling. He's going to get a ton of kills here. Oh my god. This heroic Ling right now. Look at how many kills he's getting. Look at how many kills this is. Holy cow. And look at the look at how much damage the uh, probes are doing. Almost none. That's crazy. They do finally kill it off in the end, but that was way too much damage. Look at all the lurkers here from Saxory. You're not going to break through that. He has to come down here and take the space. I don't know what he's doing here in the middle of the map thinking like, what, we're going to kill the main? Is that the plan here, Stork? We're going to break all these lurkers and then kill the natural? Is that is that really what we're expecting? We need to get another base online, man. He's going to build a nexus in the middle of the map. I mean, again, another band-aid solution here. We're not addressing the larger problem, which is we need this base. We need to take this other quadrant of the map. And hold on to it. It's time to start building Reaver as well. But I don't think we have the money to do so. This base has been completely killed now. I don't even know what happened up there. Just another Ling attack it looks like. Killing off everything. And Lurkers are going to come from behind here. This is the final stand of Stork. Saxory going to completely surround this. Outclassing this man here. Yikes. Stork. Gets crushed in that game. That's a little bit wild. I think that Stork actually made it into the uh, the new ASL as well, didn't he? 
Let me just go ahead and confirm that before we go. Yeah, Stork is in the ASL and Saxory is not. Based on that game that we just watched, I would say Saxory is a stronger player, but I guess Stork is stronger where it matters, right? In the ASL qualifiers is where it truly does matter. He's not able to take this game down, though. Saxory absolutely wiping the floor with him here, I feel. I hope that we see some better PVZ from Stork in the ASL. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been your daily dose of Brood War, and I'll see you tomorrow.